Dante's Boxing Nation. Dante's Boxing Nation, what's going on, guys? Man, this situation with the three kings is pretty crazy. The biggest fight in the sport of boxing right now would be one of the three kings fighting against each other. So until they fight against each other, their names will always be synonymous with each other. It's no different when Floyd Mayweather's name was always connected to Manny Pacquiao's name before they fought. Same thing with Terrence Crawford and Errol Spence. No matter who Floyd Mayweather was fighting, he would always be asked about fighting against Manny Pacquiao. Once again, before he fought him. And this is the situation that Shakur Stevenson, Javante Tang Davis, and Devin Haney are in right now. Whenever Devin Haney is doing a press conference to promote his fight, he's asked questions about either Shakur Stevenson or Javante Tang Davis. And the same thing happens to Javante. The same thing happens to Shakur Stevenson. But Shakur, he got fed up with it this week. And he went on a complete rant. You guys heard everything that he said. And it was all because of questions he was getting about Devin Haney. Now, before I share this exchange between Devin Haney and Javante Tang Davis, which all stems from what Shakur Stevenson said at his press conference this week, I want to give you guys a little contrast and play a clip of what Devin Haney said when he was in the exact same situation that Shakur Stevenson was in this week. It's the fighter that been calling out your name, man. Shakur Stevenson. What do you think about Shakur, man? Yeah, I mean, I think he's a good fighter. I think he's supposed to call my name. Uh, a lot of people, they was waiting on a reaction, like a crazy reaction from me. But it was no reaction because that's what he's supposed to do. Um, I like that he calls my, that he called my name. That's, I respect that because I remember at a point when guys wouldn't call my name. Or, you know, it was, it, it was nothing to gain. It was this, it was that. So now that guys are calling my name, I can't be mad at it. I got to respect it. Uh, I, I say I'm the guy at the division. I say I'm the, I, I am the guy with, you know, all the belts. So if that's the guy he, you, you should call. How that important sense. is that? And, 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 if he, and if he wasn't calling me, I would say he was, I would say he was a duck. So the, the right thing to do <laughs> is to, to call my name. And uh, But like I said before, you know, put some substance behind it because, you know, the right people, Shakur knows the right people to call to make the fight happen. And, uh, yeah. So that's what Devin Haney said when he was training, preparing for another opponent, being asked questions about Shakur Stevenson. But you guys heard Shakur Stevenson respond a complete different way when it came to him being asked about Devin Haney. So after Shakur said that, Devin Haney, he actually responded to what Shakur said on the internet. He said, using me to promote a non-selling fight. Keep comping those tickets, Bob. Well, when Devin Haney said that, Javante actually responded to Devin Haney. And he said, you and your dad been doing that your whole career. Shut your little bitch ass up. And then Devin Haney, he puts up this post. He says, about time he came back outside. I'm free after December 9th. Which means Devin Haney is telling Javante Tang Davis, instead of talking on Twitter, let's go ahead and make the fight happen. Let's make the fight happen after our very next fight. Haney is fighting on December 9th against Regis Progre, and Javante Tang Davis will most likely fight sometime very early next year. But it's just so crazy how Shakur Stevenson's rant over Devin Haney calls all three of them to go at each other. When it comes to Shakur Stevenson, he's starting to sound like he's less and less interested in fighting against Devin Haney. He's already said that he wants to fight Lomachenko after or assuming he gets past Edwin De Los Santos. He also said he hopes Regis Prograde beats Devin Haney. And we all know that if Regis Prograde beats Devin Haney, then that's obviously even a lesser chance of Shakur Stevenson and Devin Haney ever fighting against each other. So with Shakur Stevenson saying that he wants to fight Lomachenko next, that means Devin Haney will be completely available for Javante Tang Davis, assuming Devin Haney gets past Regis Progre on December 9th. And I truly believe Javante is planning on fighting against Shakur Stevenson or Devin Haney towards the end of next year. Hopefully that's just not wishful thinking. Let's see how it all plays out. That's all I got for now, guys. I'm on to the next one. Let me tell you guys about Issa Israel Law Firm. It is a full-service legal practice based in Denver, Colorado, an emerging hub for combat sports and high-altitude training. If you're a fighter inside or outside of the ring and you need a law firm you can trust to fight for you, visit thefighterfirm.com or email help at iilawfirm.com. Legal representation is usually limited to plaintiffs or defendants in Colorado, but iFirm can help anyone in the world with trademarking their business name, logos, and U.S. immigration issues. This brother has been my attorney for a while and helped guide me through all kinds of business and civil issues, so make sure you guys go to thefighterfirm.com. All right, now check this out, guys. If you're looking to repair eczema scars, 
burns and bruises, dark spots and blemishes, the fever blisters, diabetic ulcers. And this right here is the perfect product for you guys. It's called L.O. Dekey Face and Body Oil. Athletes and top ranking boxers, they're also using it after training to reduce swelling, inflammation, and to ease the pain. So get yours today. Go to LODekey.com. Like them on Facebook and follow them on Instagram.